Hey Weavers, this is Deborah from Yarnovations.com and today I want to talk to you about how you can make your own twining loom. It's pretty easy. If you have an old wood picture frame, you can just put some nails along the top and along the bottom about one inch apart and then you can just twine and weave on an old picture frame if that's the size of project that you want. This one here is a placemat size and I just built this to a custom order so that I knew exactly what size I wanted so then I just cut the wood to that. Also on a picture frame one or a custom built one you can put hooks just to the outside of the nails to put a pole that'll help keep your sides nice and straight. So those are that's the simplest way to make a frame is just to custom build it to the size that you want. But if you want an adjustable one like this project here I started also with a frame and then made some cross beams that I can move closer or farther apart depending on the size of the project that I want. And then um, you just use the nails or however many nails you need in order to make the width of the project. You can see that I have hooks here because I made smaller projects. For instance, I made a project that was very small, like a hot pad, that was this size. So I just used the nails from here to here and I had my bars really close together in order to make this project, but this can make a nice size rug. I would recommend that you kind of measure the area of the largest rug that you want. So the largest rug I want was near my front door, so I chose to make the frame that size. And then I have these beams that I can put here and near the bottom of the rug. So you'll notice that I have holes here all along every three inches so I can adjust mine. So I start with a frame, my frame is two by twos that I've held together. I used a square to make sure my corners were nice and square and then put the, the brackets, corner brackets on the front and on the back. I didn't use too big of a corner bracket because I wanted to have my first hole at three inches. And if I had a big bracket like those shown here, then that kind of gets in the way of the hole right away. So then I would need a taller um, size. So I got an eight foot board and I cut it in half. So these are half of eight feet. So these are four feet boards here and 28 inch boards here. And I put the 28 inch ones onto the inside so that I have a little bit more width going this way. So I use two by twos for my base frame. You don't have to use two by twos. Uh, it makes it a little bit thicker um, and probably would be a little nicer. If I did it again, I think I would like thinner boards, but these were the most inexpensive. So that's just the way I went for this project. For the cross beams, I used two by threes because I wanted a little extra space. I wanted space for my nails, space for my bolt, and space for the hooks for all the different size projects that I was going to make. The nails, I used finishing nails because I wanted just a little bit of something at the end, but not something, not a big head that it would be hard to pull my project off every nail. And the nails are slightly tilted up or slightly tilted down depending on which board that it is that you're looking at. So one inch apart, starting where the hooks are gonna line up. Now I have one eye bolt right here that's a substantial size um, because I wanted the bolt to come up. The two by three kind of sticks out, so I needed a hook that also would stick out so that I could line up a pole with the eye bolt. So the eye bolt was needed a 5 16th, so I just made all the holes 5 16th, including the bolts right onto these beams because I wanted every hole to be interchangeable. So I could put this eye bolt anywhere in the middle of any project and these beams to go and fit any hole. Okay, so I use a carriage bolt. On the other side, I have a washer and then a wing nut so it'd be easier to move to where I was going to go. Um, and on the eye bolt, I have a hex nut and a washer on the front. I went in about two and a half inches in so that the bolt would stick out. And then I have a washer and a wing nut on the back of that so that I can keep it firmly in place. I was able to buy four feet steel rods at the hardware store. They're smooth. They're a little greasy when you're first buying, so you're gonna have to wash them off. So I can use those beam, those poles anywhere in my project. So on my little project, I had my poles right here. And because the project was small, I didn't think the hooks 
the poles would bend in so much. I have, if I'm going to have a long project, sometimes if I don't start all the way at the end and I start here, sometimes I'll tie the pole at the middle to keep the pole from bending in, so I like to keep it nice and straight. So build your frame first to whatever height and width that you want. Then you can drill these holes in every three inches. It's nice if you have a drill press. I don't have a drill press. So I just drill these in manually, each one. The problem then was getting these to line up exactly because these, I'm not the best carpenter, so these aren't all perfectly in the same spot. So I found that if I made these holes just a tad bigger, then it's easier to get these bolts in. And once you tighten it up, it won't have any wiggle room, especially once you have the warp on and you start weaving, they will, these beams will not move at all. So it's okay if the holes on these boards are slightly bigger. Altogether, this project cost me about $25 when I have the adjustable ones. If you know that you're gonna make the same size loom, a rug or whatever project every time, then you actually just need this frame and you can put the nails right, right across the top. Now you may be wondering, why do I have holes along the top of my project? Well, sometimes I like to weave and I want my stripes to go this way. But if I want my stripes to go this way, I don't have to change colors every time I get to the stripes. So I actually have two additional boards that are the whole length. And I can put them in these holes or I've drilled holes in the beams here so I can attach them here. Or if I want a skinny project like a table runner, then I can just use these other holes here. So this is the basics of building your own loom. Can this be a tapestry loom? Like you want to use yarn instead of fabric? You probably would just need to add additional nails so that they're closer together. Otherwise, the, the warp strands will be kind of far apart. Good luck with your loom building and your weaving. Happy weaving!